Okay, so we spent one week um, kind of reviewing, talking about functions and graphs of functions and moving functions around, and then we spent another couple weeks talking about these limit things. These limit things were strange and they're abstract, and some people thought they were an estimate, and some people thought they were the real deal. Um, now, finally, we're going to kind of visit the same topics again, but we're going to wrap it in the, this beautiful little package we call calculus. But <clears throat> before we get into it, I have to make a disclaimer. Um, the disclaimer is that it's um, a beautiful day here in uh, Wisconsin. Um, and by beautiful in J January, it's actually February 1st. Uh, it's in the 20s. It's snowing. I'm looking out my window at hundreds of acres of forest and prairie, and I'd rather be out hiking, but I'm in here talking about calculus. Now, I like calculus, but I'd rather be out, um, out hiking in the woods with my son. Um, so before we uh, talk about the derivative, derivative, um, I'm going to warn you that uh, the, we're going to listen to some music by Ashley Flynn, who is from Portland, Oregon, um, kind of a folk rock crossover kind of a singer. Um, and I want to listen to it because we're doing calculus on Saturday, and so that means you get to listen to it too. All right. So um, the uh, we've talked a lot about this difference quotient and the limit and whatnot. Um, we're going to look at one of our uh, a problem that we've looked at many many times already, and that's going to be this uh, uh, parabola that keeps coming up. So here's our parabola. Slide that down. Put it under Ashley. Um, the equation for this particular parabola is y equals x squared plus one. And that's right there. And we're going to try to find the slope at some point, which oftentimes I do in green, which will be right here. And that point, let's see, goes over kind of like that. And this point is 2 comma 5. Right? And that goes there. And we want the slope there. Um, and the way we've done it before is uh, we pick... So if this is our x, or x naught, and then we're going to pick some other distance here. Um, we're going to have some distance h that goes like this. And then we've got another point up here, which is x plus h and f of x plus h, right? And so now we have two points, and so we can come up with the slope of the line between those two points, right? And this is good, but it's an approximation. Now we learned, however, that we, if we take the limit as h goes down to zero, our two points get really close together until we have a line that is tangent to the curve that goes right through this point. So this is really what we're after, is the slope of this green line that's tangent to the curve at the point in question. So slope equals what? So let's do it over here. The slope, and I know this is kind of repetitive, but we're going to do it in a slightly different way, and we're going to think about it and make sure that um, both ways we do it are exactly the same. Um, we want f of um, 2 plus h, so that's this point up here, the red one, that's a plus, um, minus f of 2, all divided by um, h. Right? And so that's going to give us uh, 2 plus h squared um, plus 1, minus uh, just 2 squared, uh, plus 1. All right. And all that still gets divided by h. And so that will equal, we're still looking at this as the limit as h goes to 0 of uh, 2 squared plus 2 times h, 2 times h is 4h um, plus h squared plus 1 minus 2 squared 
plus two times. Um, oh no, this doesn't get squared. Two squared minus one. That's it. All over h. All right, so we can clean things up a little bit here. Um, the two squared is going to cancel the two squared. The plus one is going to cancel the minus one, and so we're left with something a little bit simpler. 4h plus h squared. I was actually a member of 4h as a kid. Health, home, heart, and happiness, something like that. Um, and then we can do some canceling here, get the red pen back. This h cancels with that, which cancels one of those. So this is old news. We know that the slope equals um, 4 plus h. And we know that h is going to 0. So we know that the slope really just equals 4. <clears throat> is that a reasonable approximation? Let's check. Um, you know, the, the scale is not exactly right here. This is you know, roughly over 1, up. You know, this is 2, so we're kind of starting at 1 and then going up to here. Yeah, so it's roughly over 1, up 4. Right? It's believable. Uh, so this is the slope, right? Uh, and that is the instantaneous slope. Instantaneous slope at x equals uh, 2. All right. Now, there's another way that some books do it, and I want to show you both ways because it becomes kind of fun to think about are they really the same? And uh, I keep making those marks there. Go back to this, we'll insert the same picture, uh, parabola, put that there. Um, this time I'm going to mark this up a little differently. I'm going to say that this is the point we're really interested in. I'm going to call this one A. And that means this is over here. This is F of A. I'm going to put my X, which I did in the last time, I'm going to put my X over here. And so x goes up like, let's say I put my x here, and so it goes up to here, and that goes here, like that. And so this is f of x, okay? But I want the slope here, right? Um, so what I'm going to write on this side is slope equals some limit, and I'm going to leave that limit out for now. Let's see if we can guess what it is, of f of x, right, it's still a rise over run, minus f of a all over x minus a. Now this is different than we've seen it, but many books do it like this, so we should look at it. f of x minus f of a, still rise over run. Um, and so what is the limit we're really interested in? This is, the, the point we're interested in is this green point here and what we have is this red point as the other end of our secant line so we don't have an h between these two but x is going to get really closer to a so we'll write over here we want the limit as x approaches a <clears throat> well let's see how that pans out um, so f of x uh, will be uh, well, maybe I'll write my function right here. So this is uh, y equals uh, x squared plus 1. So, um, and a is equal to 2 in this case. So this is, uh, I'll write this as equals the limit as x approaches 2 of f of 2 um, minus, ah, no, this is f of x first, minus f of a all over uh, x minus 2, right? And then I can say this is the limit of f of x is x squared plus 1 minus f of a, which should be an f of 2. Like that. 
um, minus uh, f of 2 is 5, actually, right? Because if we go to 2, 2 squared plus 1 is 5, all over x minus 2. So if I simplify this, this becomes x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Now this is starting to look familiar. So it equals the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 2, x minus 2, all over x minus 2. And as usual, when we do these limits, if we are careful with our algebra, the problem goes away. x minus 2 cancels out. So as x approaches 2, we say that the slope becomes x plus 2, or um, yeah, I screwed something up there. What did I screw up? Oh, yeah, but x is approaching 2, right? So x approaches 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? So I get kind of mixed up between the two ways. Is this the same thing? Sure. x is approaching a, just like in the previous place, x plus h was getting closer to x because h was going close to 0. So two very similar ways uh, of doing the same thing, finding the slope at a point. Now, um, keep in mind I'm an engineer, and uh, I take a very much an engineering approach to all this stuff. So we're going to take a, a brief moment to kind of go back and forth between English and math. All right, because now we have to, most of our problems in the real world we encounter are given to us in English, or perhaps Mandarin, or Hindi, or, uh, you know, German, English, I guess English is English. Um, you know, they, we run into manufacturing and design problems that we have to solve with math. So let's go back and forth. What do I have written here? The limit as x, nope, I'm going to do the other one first. the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Um, and this, what does this really mean? Okay, One way to look at it. One, it is the slope of the graph of y equal to f of x at x equals x naught. So let's put an x naught there. x naught, x naught. That's sloppy. That's okay. You can, that's supposed to be an x naught. Ah, you know what, just for the sake of the notes, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. But I'm not going to take the time to edit this out because that takes hours once I make any edits. I'm going to try to do this in one take. This is going to be f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught all over h. Right? That's the slope of the graph of y equals f of x at x naught. Another way to think about that, all right, slightly different spin on the English is slope of the tangent line to the tangent line to y equals f of x at um, x equals x naught. Three, we could say this is the rate of change of x when x equals x naught. All right, or finally, and this is our first real introduction into calculus, the derivative this is our first new word, the derivative of f of x at x naught, and this is written as f prime of x naught, 
And so what does that mean? It means that um, uh, the you know f of x is the y value f prime of x is the slope. Okay. Now, um, the uh, other way we wrote this is the limit as x approaches a. So let's kind of draw some straight lines here. Um, limit of x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. Okay, what does that mean? One, it's the slope of the graph of f of x dot 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 dot. Right, where, when, what does it really mean? Am I at x, am I at a? What are we really doing here? Think about that and see if we can uh, give me some answers to this in class. Two, slope of the tangent line. Where? Three, rate of change. Dot, dot, dot. When? And finally, the derivative of what? Really, it's just f prime of x. Right? So, f prime, the derivative. Old stuff, a little bit, two different ways to look at it, but uh, this is really, really important. It's the start of our study of calculus. Um, it was quick. The homework is pretty straightforward, I hope, but we'll, I guess we'll find out on Monday. Thanks, guys. See you soon.